The Fulbright program for me, it's like a pebble in a pond. It makes a lot of ripples, even though it's a small pebble. So the Fulbright program, the way I tell it to folks is that it's uh, the best year of my life. I really wanted the opportunity to immerse myself in a different culture, in a different country. One of the things that the Fulbright program does, it breaks down stereotypes uh, of people. There's no better way to understand a culture than by going somewhere, understanding those people, understanding where they're coming from, and being friends with them. Those unique experiences can have longer lasting effects than you actually think. So I got off a plane in Bangkok and it was just overwhelming. And then woke up the next day and was just surrounded by uh, a constant heat and uh, beautiful architecture. I was the first Fulbrighter in my town and so I really had to break down a lot of barriers. They had never had a foreign teacher before and so they didn't really know how to act, didn't really know how to communicate with me. Dance Club was my way of breaking down those barriers with my students. Even if they didn't feel confident in English, they were able to connect with me in a way where they did feel confident. We made a music video highlighting their dance moves. Then we performed at English Camp and Science Day and a bunch of different uh, assemblies at school. Thailand is so focused on uh, being a team. I came back with that sense of succeeding together. I have three children and my wife all went with me to Scotland. My uh, wife, who is a musician, got a chance to sing in some of the choirs in Scotland. My daughter took uh, Highland dancing. She started kindergarten and we have her ledger books that are filled with counting sheep. My uh, oldest uh, son was involved in studying uh, Scottish fiddle music. It was a great family experience. I was pretty busy with teaching my classes, but I did spend a considerable amount of time writing music, and I wrote a song cycle on the poems of Robert Burns, the great Scottish poet, who says in one of his poems, to see ourselves as other people see us. And that is what I was able to see, a new view of the United States through some other people's eyes. Cairo is completely different. It's like, it's like a beautiful chaos. It's loud, it's crazy, people everywhere. Many Egyptians I met had never met an American before. At first they didn't really know what to do with me because I'm some Arab American guy coming to Cairo to study Arabic calligraphy. My family decided to come visit me and even my grandparents came and they really hadn't been outside the US before. And so when my grandfather came, he's from Iowa, comes from a farming community, salt of earth kind of a guy, ex-Air Force. When he came and saw my interactions with my roommates, Egyptian roommates, he was pretty amazed. And he sat me aside and said, Munir, if we could do this on a large scale, we'd have peace all over the world if people actually talked to each other. I wanted to make a point to join the Fulbright Association when I uh, got back from Thailand because I wanted to share those experiences with other Fulbrighters. The association can offer a range of programming for different generations of Fulbrighters. The Fulbright Association has allowed me to connect with people from all those different backgrounds um, and continue what I think my Fulbright experience is. The Fulbright Association provides kind of this network for your professional career and also socially. Advocacy has really become a core component of the, the association. We are going to be the ones who will have to advocate for this program to be sustained for the next 70 years. My school has actually been cut from the Fulbright program. That really hit me really hard because I, you know, spent my year really breaking down those barriers. And that person-to-person -person contact, once you have a friend, they just can open up the society to you. After, uh, Tom Green. It's amazing to have those experiences, to talk to those who have the power to decide whether or not the Fulbright program continues. The impact that these programs can have on the individuals, but then also the communities that they're in. I think the case for the Fulbright program and programs like it is incredibly 
powerful. Go to your representative's field office in your city or in your local town and talk to them, talk to their staff members. Thank you for being a friend of our community, being a friend of the Fulbright Association, uh, and always being there for us. We are living in a time of not being open to each other, to different cultures, to different people. Advocacy for the Fulbright is important because the world needs it.